I swear, if I made a nickel every time someone said cocksucker in this film, I would make enough money to go on an actual campaign and start a real purge. A purge to the people who thought it was the wisest idea to cancel Silent Hills. It's only been a couple years now, and I still haven't forgot about it. Okay, so the Purge election year. How convenient. So the Purge election year continues the story of Leo Barnes, and a year after he went to Purge into the streets, he decides to join the head of security to protect a very important senator by the name of Charlie Roan, in which she herself experienced a life-changing event in which she was involved with the Purge, but it kind of gives her a little bit of motivation to change America by getting rid of the Purge completely. And of course, her threatening to do that, there are higher-ups who don't want this event to go away for financial reasons, so they use the night of the annual purge to assassinate the senator. Now leaning towards the same goal, Leo Barnes must protect the senator in this dangerous night. These two must find out who's to trust and who's not to trust in hopes of being the final purge in the history of America. Now the purge election year is the third entry to the insanely critically acclaimed purge films that everyone including fans and critics seem to enjoy with countless of positive reviews being posted. And how I personally feel about these purge films is that I'm kind of on the fence with these. The first one I didn't really enjoy that much and the second one was a very enjoyable but dumb action movie, and I felt like this was gonna be the movie on which I decide how I feel about the Purge franchise in its entirety. Like, this was gonna be the movie to bring it home for me. And it turns out that the Purge election year is indeed better than the first one, but not as good as the second one, which doesn't really narrow it down at all and it was pretty bad. But as always, before we get into why, I'll cover some of the things that I really liked about this movie, and those are the two main characters that carry the film. You got Frank Grillo as the main dude who's protecting the senator, and just like the previous film, I liked how they handled his character and a few of his action sequences. He had like this reasonable attitude towards everybody in which he wasn't sure on who to trust, and when he does find someone who threatens his mission, it results to him kicking their ass, and it's awesome. But then the movie sometimes focuses on the senator played by Elizabeth Mitchell, and just from the opening scene alone, you can get behind her character and understand why she wants to get rid of this crazy ass event. I mean, she's smart, she cares about people, she's sort of everything you want Hillary Clinton to be, but without the carelessly handling emails and the FBI being buddy-buddy with her, but the FBI kind of wants to kill the senator in this movie. Plus, the movie expands the more political side of things and how the purge is beneficial for both the pro-purge and the anti-purge citizens, and once they do explain that, it becomes a little little bit of a realistic world in a twisted world filled with crazies on the night of the annual purge but once the movie doesn't focus on that it becomes an extremely dumb film when it does turn into an action movie the action is handled extremely poorly I mean yeah it's fun and enjoyable to watch but most of the time you're like what the hell is going on the camera turns into shaky cams and then turns to non shaky pretty decent direction when it gets to the non action sequences it's just weird man it felt like two different people directing this film the other person didn't know how to direct well X executed, well-seen action sequences that would have been more enjoyable if you can actually see who's firing bullets at who. That doesn't go for all action scenes, however. Some were pretty good, but some not so much, hence why I say it's two different people. And for anyone who wants to correct me in the comment section, yes, I'm fully aware that it is one director for this movie and that's James DeMonico. Thank you so much for the film knowledge. Besides the film focusing on Frank Grillo's and Elizabeth Mitchell's character, the movie would follow other characters that would eventually run into our main characters that you don't really give a shit about. I will give some of the side characters this, is that they do represent how the lower class society can suddenly get screwed over by the government, which sort of like the actual society today. But the way they handle more than half of the characters, you don't really care if some of these characters lived or died since they ultimately symbolize on why this senator needs to get elected to office. The beginning of the film already establishes that and once the movie just constantly shoves that idea down your throat that the senator needs to get elected to office, protect her, I'm like, it becomes too much, it's just too much characters. I've counted at least five times in which the movie would just lose track on Frank Grillo and the senator. I'm like, hey movie, come on, let's get back to those characters, they're the interesting ones. It was funny because as soon as I saw this logo pop up on screen, I'm just like, oh shit, fuck, god damn it, god damn it, Jason Blue Mouse and your cheap jump scare shenanigans. And it definitely shows how this movie can be a horror movie too. It does have quite a bit of unnecessary jump scares for the kids at home when I'm just like, why do you have to do that? The Purge hasn't even started yet and you're throwing a dude with a mask on playing loud boom sounds at me already? It got pretty annoying, but with all the things that I've mentioned before, what I'm trying to say is that this movie is an overall mess. It has no idea what it wants to be or who to focus on. Although, just like the first Purge film, the potential was there, but it eventually fell flat. Because I say, if you want to see the Purge election year, just wait for the Netflix release. Sort of like this election year, if that makes any sense. 
No, it doesn't. Anyway, guys, have you seen The Purge Election Year? And what did you think about it? And what is your favorite Purge film? Whatever it is, leave it down below. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all that social media shit down below. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, may the force be with you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>